I met Malcolm on OkCupid, and he had a vetting strategy that was actually pretty strict. I'm not going to get into it now, but we think that you should vet VCs just like you vet dates, thoroughly. It's, it's actually super important, and while it can seem embarrassing and that as an entrepreneur, you're in the position of low power, it is absolutely crucial that this person, who you will sometimes spend up to 10 years with, is someone who you are okay with having on your board. So this means that you ask them first for a list of references of entrepreneurs they've worked with in the past, but then you also look at companies that you can find they've invested in that aren't on the reference list and reach out to them to see what their relationship with them what is like. What the spurned lovers think. But it's also like you should have... The exes. The exes. But, uh, what were you going to say? When you talk with them, you have to click like you would click with a friend or a date. I mean, if you can't communicate with an investor, if you're not on the same page, if you can't figure out what they're trying to say, even if they want to throw money at you, it might not be the best idea to accept it. We've turned down investors in the past because even though we like them and we would like the money, we realize that it's just going to cause too many problems down the road. And there are a lot of great sites that you can sort of investigate to do this with more industrial VCs like uh, thefunded.com. Uh, and just in general, never ever accept money from a VC that includes a board seat without first vetting them. Mm. Mm.